Some people ask, what about those who have not heard the gospel? My answer is biblical. I believe God provides a way for anybody whose heart is open and wants to know the true God. Sometimes God appears, Jesus appears to them in visions, dreams, and even in person. And sometimes God sends another person, just like Cornelius. Here's the story of Nazila. Nazila is a Muslim woman who was crying out to know the true God and see how God provided for her. She says, I was born in a Muslim family, in a wealthy family, well-known family, and because of my marriage that my father did not approve, I was kicked out of the house. To provide money for my family, I started uh, driving a taxi. You know, taxi driving in Iran is not very uh, noble. And she said, everybody in my city knew me, and I was ashamed as a daughter of somebody who was so well-known driving a taxi. She says, I was desperate, I was depressed, and one day there was a, a passenger in my taxi started telling me about Jesus. And she said, God loves you and wants to save you. All you need to do is to open your heart to Jesus and his love and blessing will flow into your life. She says, I started crying. She repeatedly said, God loves you, God loves you. And I continued to cry, but suddenly I felt so much joy and peace in my heart after she left. I called my father said, I'm a new person. And my father accepted me back. But when I told my father, Jesus has changed my heart, my father got upset and threatened me. He said, you are an infidel. They will arrest you. They will kill you. Your daughter will be an orphan. My father, she says, put fear in my heart. I was so doubtful. Did, did I do the right thing to pray to Jesus? I was desperate, I was confused. She says, I asked God, would you show me? Am I truly a Christian? I'm so full of doubt and fear. And this is what happens. So God sends one person in the taxi and then she cries out again and God sends another person. She says, I went to a park and I was sitting at a bench and just crying out, God, I wanna know you, Jesus, I wanna know you. And suddenly the woman on my side turned to me and said, why are you so upset? I'm here to tell you something. And the woman said, last night I had a dream. I'm a Christian and I had a dream. And Jesus told me tomorrow, go to this park, sit at that bench and wait because I'm gonna send a girl who is desperate for me and you tell her about me. This girl says, when I heard that, I said, what a wonderful, loving, passionate, compassionate God we have. He sent you because I was asking, she says, I heard the gospel and I was not ashamed in front of everybody at the park. I knelt down in front of everybody and out loud prayed to receive Christ. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. She says, my life was changed. This was two years ago. And that lady introduced me to your programs. I have been watching your programs for the last two years. Now I want to be in touch with you. Two years ago, my life was changed. I shared the gospel with my family. My sister came to Christ. And the Lord gave me a supernatural ability to write. She says, I have published two books and many have come to Christ through my books. And then listen to this. This is the result of us working together. This is a result of our partnership. She says, you are my church. I attend your satellite church service regularly and take notes on Pastor Hormuz's sermon. I pick the key sentences and verses, write them down on note cards and pass them on to others. Now she's serving others. Finally, this is amazing. She says, sometimes I still drive taxis, not because I need to, but to share the gospel with every passenger and to tell them about your channel. My beloved, just like Cornelius when he cries out, God sends people. And many Muslims in Iran are crying out, I want to know the true God. God, show my way, show your way to me. I want to know you. And you know, sometimes Jesus appears to them. Sometimes Jesus does miracles. But many times Jesus sends people just like you and me. Would you join us in our partnership through satellite? We go to every home and we become the answer to prayers of many who are desperately seeking God. Let's be an answer to Muslims' prayers. Thank you.